Without a knowledge of structural support and resistance levels, people find price action movement to be quite random. Instead, it's not random at all. When you understand the CTKS method, which is the world's most powerful smart money buy and sell level detection system, you'll see the price is simply moving between structural levels. To uncover structural levels, we need to look deeply. After all, these are structural levels, not recent indicative price levels. For example, if we look over here at this particular price action in Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is currently trading at 34,949, this shows us that there was a lack of structural support in this area. But how do we sense that? How do we detect that? We use the CTKS method. I'm just going to drill into that section. You'll find that when you look at CTKS structure, there are negative fresh air gaps, for example, from this 35,186 all the way down to this 34,435 level. There was a negative fresh air gap, but when we look the other way, there was a positive fresh air gap here. And you can see how many times price to try to hold this line, but could not. If it's not going above, where is it going? It's going below. When we have a negative fresh air gap, that's a bit terrifying if you're going long because price moves against you. But if you know where the structure is, you're already buying at these levels. It also goes the other way. When it's a positive fresh air gap, it can move up very, very quickly and it just catches everybody off guard. But not us. We know where the structure is. There's two ways that you can know where the structure is on any chart. One is to get the indicator when it's released. The indicator is part of the CTKS method service, which is a monthly service, which does all the hard work for you. But the other way to go is to get the certification and you can learn to apply it for a lifetime. This is the website at ctksmethod.org. You'll find that the CTKS method is literally the world's most powerful buy and sell level detection system for smart money. You'll also see that there are two levels of standard certification. Level one, where you learn the foundations. Level two, where you apply all the magic. Inside level one, you'll practically learn how to mark up the SPY. And there's quite a bit inside level one and you also get a certificate. The reason I'm going through this is I have a number of partial scholarships for level one and level two standard certification. In level two, CTKS method standard certification, you learn all there is to know about how to actually do what I show you inside each video each day. I'm offering the partial level one and level two standard certification scholarship. All you need to do is to go across to the YouTube channel. Just go into the about section and you will see I have a number of contacts. Just reach out to me on Twitter through this contact through the YouTube channel and just let me know that you're interested. I'm only involved with these things here. I will never manage money on your behalf. One thing that I stand for, I want you to learn because your learning is your earning. Also, to let the service members know, the S&P 500 was released into the service in the past 24 hours. Bitcoin was released also into the service. And one of the community's favorites, Solana, was also released. More videos and indicators will be released into the service in the next 24 hours. We have an amazing global family. If you're new to the community, a very warm welcome. You'll find our community is unlike anything else that you will experience inside the crypto or stock market space. And I wanted to thank Mark for his very kind comment. In yesterday's video, we talked a little bit about the creed and what part was your favorite. It was just heart touching, beautiful. Kate and I want you to succeed, and when we see people succeeding, it's just fantastic. Congratulations, Sanjeev. That's awesome. If you're new to the community, just perhaps just put a wave down or a high or something like that. We'd love to welcome you. Financial markets are absolutely full of opportunity. 
Using the CTKS Creed, you can guard yourself against negativity, and that's really important. One thing to note, Bitcoin has a lot of structural overhead resistance at the current time. That's exactly why it's coming down, but it's getting caught by safety nets. As Bitcoin goes, so too does the entire crypto market. This is really important to understand. And we've seen ADA just be an absolute standout recently. Well done, ADA. ADA and XRP typically lead us forward when Bitcoin is about to rally. Solana has done so well recently, but we know exactly why that's the case. Solana had a was grinding through all these levels of structural resistance and when it got above it, it went nuts. Exactly as we anticipated, because we know the structure. And you can mark the structure on any chart with the CTKS method. When it comes to Bitcoin right now, we can see that we're in a structural negative air gap, which has turned to a positive air gap. But this is the way things always work when it comes to structure. If we can't get above, if we can't challenge and get through this 35, 189 mark, if we can't get through that structural resistance, we're going back to retest the 34, 434 level. This is as simple as it gets. A lot of people overcomplicate what happens inside financial markets. It's really simple. If you've got a barrage of structural resistance overhead, it's going to push price down. It's going to flatline and consolidate and probably dip down to pull in the shorts in order to liquidate them to push it up through that particular thermonuclear barrier of structural resistance. If you've got a mass of structural support below the current price, even if it's just plummeting down, as we saw with the S&P 500 recently, it's going to hit those structural levels and rebound up. And that's exactly what the S&P 500 did. And boy, oh boy, did the S&P 500 bounce. There were strong, strong structural levels of support down below this price. There was a structural level of support around here. As price was coming down, it got caught by the first structural level. There was a little bit of a fresh air gap, which explains this negative price momentum. There was so much structural support underneath here. And you'll know that if you have the indicator or you've marked up the chart with the CTKS method, it bounced up and did a slight retest and then just partied because we had a positive fresh air gap here and price just rallied up. You'll find these positive and negative fresh air gaps just pure gold to understand inside market structure. But the one thing to note, we're coming up to structural resistance levels above the S&P 500 now. The SPX or the S&P 500 is vitally important to understand. When you get a technical bounce like what we've got now and you've got follow through as well, we could expect a bit of a retracement on the S&P 500 just to consolidate its upward momentum. But the concept is look at the sector performance from this technical bounce. And if we look across the market, it's even better. This is why we must know where the structural levels are. If you don't know, you're just guessing. And if you're guessing, you're gambling. And if you're gambling, you're not quite sure what's going on. You're just hoping and praying. Professional gamblers do not gamble. They are statisticians. They run the numbers. They know what they're doing. That's why knowing these structural levels is incredibly important. A lot of people got really, really bearish on the S&P 500. They thought the thing was going to zero, but we've said for quite a long time, no, there's structure beneath it. It's not going to zero, it's going to structure. Also, Bitcoin just rallied up crazily recently. And we said, uh, not so fast. There's a lot of overhead structural resistance on Bitcoin. It's going to be really hard for it to get through that. And that's exactly what happened. What about Solana? Solana got through structural overhead resistance and was encountering far, far less structure overhead to slow its price down. It went nuts, but it went nuts in a positive direction because of that lack of structural resistance. We also pointed that out as well. 
The updated Solana levels for the CTKS method were released into the service because so many people love Solana. If you can let me know what it is that you love inside the service, I can make sure that those charts are prioritized for you. But if I don't know, it just means that the normal structural release schedule is adhered to. I'm just zooming in to that incredible blow off top area inside Solana. Now, why do blow off tops occur? Because structural levels are hit. There's just too many buyers and then the sellers can overpower the buyers and push the price down. But everything obeys CTKS structure. This is the key. When you look at this particular structural level playing through here at that 3919 mark, that initially held price backwards, but that positive fresh air gap meant that price could explode upwards when we got above it. But this confluence of structural resistance levels captured price and started to slow it down. It started to crack the concrete on Solana's upward price momentum. And we've seen that previous structural support level play in as well. We've not been able to get above this 4220 mark. So that means that when we look forward, we're trying to understand what could happen in the in the future. We need to keep an understanding that structural levels dictate everything. If it's not going above, it's going below. And you can see a bit of a negative fresh air gap underneath Solana. I think this will catch many, many people off guard because a lot of people are just FOMOing into Solana at exactly the wrong time to do it. We were FOMOing into Solana when it was breaking structural resistance levels and getting into positive fresh air gaps way, way back there in price history. That's where you want to do it. You don't want to do it when the crowd is there because if you do, often you'll get slapped around by price volatility. These are just trades on the charts covered by the service. You can see that you can do really, really well if you know the structural levels. I really urge that you know how to draw up your own charts as well. The reason for that, you'll just gain a, an in-depth understanding of how price action actually moves. You'll see it come to life and then you can use the service levels as your source of truth. You can see that you can do very, very well across literally any of those particular top cryptos that are inside the service with their levels. If you're interested in the partial CTKS method standard certification scholarship for both level one and level two standard certification, please pop across to ctksmethod.org. All you need to do is to go to the about section in the YouTube video and you can see that link there. That's the one that you can go and check out what it's all about. Learning CTKS structure is an absolute game changer. If you have friends or family that might be interested in that partial scholarship, please reach out to them and get them to contact me. The true support and resistance lines will make you money inside the financial markets, but you need to know where they are and you also need to have a strategy to deal with uncertainty. The strategy that I employ is very, very simple. I look to the CTKS structural lines. I look towards market synchronization. I know that the S&P 500 has done a really terrific technical bounce. It's probably due for a retracement because it's heading into so much structural resistance at the current time. Bitcoin continues to strengthen, but it's going to throw a lot of people off guard by that negative price action. That's going to pull the shorts in to the market and then the longs will in all likelihood liquidate them to crunch through that level of structural resistance. Now, why do I think that? Because junk bonds are rallying. The S&P 500 is rallying. The DXY and the yields are showing weakness. We talk about cross dependency a lot inside the service. My focus is that I take a certain amount of money and I say I'm going to put X dollars into ADA, Solana, whatever it is, XRP, it doesn't matter. And then I layer down at the appropriate levels. I do tight trading when the markets look a little bit desynchronized. I lower my target percentages so that the orders get filled and I can recycle the money. 
Inside the masterclass, we talk a lot about percentages, but just say you had $500 and you could turn 2% per day, just rolling back the profits, you would actually increase $500 to over 690,000. This is what people don't understand about small percentages. Small percentages, there's nothing small about them if you do them a lot and you do them frequently. If that percentage becomes slightly larger, say 3%, you can see that things can go a little bit nuts. The concept is that you need a strategy to ride the waves of price both up and down. Fear cannot be a strategy. Hope cannot be a strategy. Guessing is definitely not a strategy. The ultimate strategies are always knowledge-based. That's exactly why I'm offering the Partial Certification Scholarship that will apply to both Level 1 and Level 2 Standard Certification. I want people to learn this for themselves so that they can be more of a financial and emotional blessing to those they love as well as themselves. Have a great day or night ahead, my friends, and Kate and I look forward to catching up with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.